Good afternoon, Eastern North Carolina. Meteorologist Russell James right now. We're dealing with sunny skies. Temperatures into the lower 90s in Moorhead City. North breeze around 9 miles an hour. Dew point sitting at about 63 degrees. Feels like 91. You certainly see is nice and sunny and it's going to remain that way as we go through the rest of the afternoon and early evening. Air temperatures across the east mid to upper 80s. 91 currently in Greenville. Earlier got it to 94. 93 Rocky Mount, 94 Windsor and even along the immediate coast temperatures remaining into the lower 80s, even a 79 degree temperature there in Mantio. Winds coming in pretty much light and variable uh, at times, coming in with a light northerly breeze at about five miles an hour. Greenville, seven certainly Edenton, and along the immediate coast we're seeing winds generally at around five to ten miles per hour. So taking a look at your bonfire forecast for this evening, uh, it looks like no chance of rain certainly is a very dry air mass. Only best bet is maybe some scattered clouds at the middle levels, but certainly mosquitoes will be out there. Humidity levels fairly moderate. We're still dealing with dew points into the 60s and the wildfire danger, believe it or not, is starting to increase because we're dealing with the extended period of dry conditions that's going to be lasting through the evening and overnight. We should drop down to around 70 degrees. Calm breeze, partly cloudy skies, no chance of rain, certainly at least over the next uh, 10 to 12 hours or so. And part of the reason behind this, as we look at our satellite and radar, we have a ridge of high pressure that's giving way to some very uh, high temperatures, certainly across parts of the Gulf Coast where we're seeing numbers as high as 95 to 97 degrees. Meanwhile, our area of low pressure that the National Hurricane Center has been keeping an eye on, that's going to be moving off towards the north and east. And then we have this cold front draped across the Ohio Valley. That's going to be moving down towards the south and the east. And along with it, may come with a chance for an isolated shower or storm air temperatures. Definitely still sitting into the low to middle 90s. And this hot air is definitely going to be sticking around. Certainly over the next several days, we'll have a brief cold front arriving dipping temperatures at night, but then notice the yellows, the oranges and the reds that's going to be overspreading pretty much most of the uh, central United States interior and across the north and east where we could very well be having a rich setting up here that's going to be lasting all throughout next week where temperatures, believe it or not, certainly across the northeast from New York over towards Washington, D.C., getting closer towards the mid to upper 90s. As for us, we'll be staying into the low to uh, middle 90s certainly over the coming days, getting up to 92 certainly on Tuesday night on Wednesday, but notice the temperatures quickly skyrocket certainly Thursday into Friday. Next Saturday, 95. Very, very hot certainly indeed for this part of the region. But as we take a look at your development potential for tropicals uh, outlook, certainly over the next uh, 48 hours, seven days, we're still keeping an eye on this storm. Right now, the odds of it developing only a 10%. So this system is gonna be moving well away from Eastern North Carolina, but well, wave heights will be elevated around six to 10 feet, eventually tapering off certainly as we head into Saturday. And then once we get into about Sunday or so, we won't have to worry about this system. And then there's another system that's forecast to develop across uh, the Southwestern uh, Gulf of Mexico, right now. National Hurricane Center giving this area about a 50% chance of developing next name on the list, Alberto. And right now, the showers and storms uh, with the system not looking too good, very poorly organized. In order to have a tropical system organized, you got to have it mainly persistent, certainly over the next several days. But at least for tonight, warm clouds increasing late, temperatures dropping down into the lower 70s. Tomorrow, hot and sunny, stray afternoon thunderstorm. We should get to around 91 degrees further inland along the coast will remain into the upper 80s. And as we take a look at your eight day forecast, temperatures hovering near 90, certainly going into your Father's Day. Monday, Tuesday, low 90s, 90 degrees on Wednesday, just in time for Juneteenth. But then certainly the heat and the furnace will be cranking up Thursday through next Saturday with te temperatures approaching the low 90s, so as high as 95, certainly next Saturday. Overnight lows into the 60s to around 70 degrees.